Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. Happy Friday. We made it this far and I think we can do it. I think we can actually do it. Anyway guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the hot mess that is being reported that is coming out and it all has to do with yay bianca sensori and even the uni backside queen kimmy cakes let's talk about it shall we because it seems as though yay is being stubborn you know when someone is hurting inside they have been you know attacked so much and you know as they say for every traumatic experience you have, you need 10 wins to counteract it. And Ye has been getting back to back hit. And I have really haven't seen him getting like 10 wins for each trauma, but he has been getting some really good wins. For example, vultures, like vultures is officially unprecedented, cannot be defeated, cannot be disputed. The first successful independent album to rock every social media platform and rock the billboard 100 year has gone down in history again for making another um record and groundbreaking effort in the music industry and no one or nothing in this life or the next can take that away from him however yeah he's still battling inside and that is what i believe because of everything that has been taken away from him. And not only that, Adidas is still trying to steal from him. Adidas has been caught recently selling Yeezy. And I'm not talking about in the past. That has been, you know, their cultural practice to rip off, sell, copy Yeezy, you know, third party LLC. They have been caught doing it since this week again. And we know Ye is not getting a red cent from any of that. Plus, they're suing him. Not only that, they're going forward with the Yeezy inventory that they had it on, on and that they haven't been paying him for that they've been selling. So, you know, that's a lot. Plus, they're suing him. So, they're basically robbing this man blind. They're taking every way, everything away from him. So, you know, that is going to hurt and... Yeah, really doesn't have the support. He really doesn't. I mean, people can always say they're there for him and Ye was right. But, you know, as much as we want to say Ye was right about a lot of things, it's really, really not helping him, right? So Ye is going through a lot at this point. And as such, I think that he's just rebelling because of the internal war and the feud that is going on inside him. And as such, it seems as though he's moving you know, he wants to go forward with this easy corn. And you know that a lot of people are not down for it. It is causing a major fallout in his company at this point. So many people are getting terminated because he's determined to clean house. You know, if you're faulty, if you're questionable, he's cleaning house. And some people are saying, you know what? I love you. I respect you. I support him, but I cannot support you know, Yeezy Corn, because let's keep it real. Anyone who truly loves Ye would not support him on his, on this venture, because this has been a man who has always spoken out about adult entertainment, not wanting Kim to get his daughter North involved and to see him rebelling against something for so many years. And now he's joining. No, 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 no. Something is definitely wrong, right? So what is being said at this point is that even Kim herself is fearful that Ye venturing into adult entertainment will basically store up problems for her. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to store up problems for Kim or is it that Kim thinks that Ye is going to, you know, defeat her in that industry because Kim was the first to do it. No disrespect to her and she made good money out of it. So I don't know how she feels bothered by what he's doing, or is it that she's just saying something so that she can get trending in the trending discussions and the trending topics, right? But they're saying that there's problem between Ye and Bianca because Bianca is fearful that Ye is going to want her to get involved 
physically. And I think that is crazy as heck. There's so many reports coming out today about that. Like I'm looking, I've seen report two hours ago, an hour ago, four hours ago, five hours ago. There's so much report coming out and it is actually given the sense that, you know, Bianca might be feeling away, but here's my two cents on it, right? And the reason why I say it is actually given the sense, because when you look at how all these media outlets are reporting, as though Bianca is telling them, and we know that girl is not talking to anyone, right? But I believe what is happening is because Ye and Bianca hasn't been seen publicly, people are just making up stuff, you know? Because we have been seeing them steadily for the past couple of months. And now that they've gone on a hiatus. Because it is definitely a hiatus. No one wants to be in a public light for so long. No one wants to be in the limelight for so long. People really like to hibernate. People really love to take that time away. Personally, I love to take that time away from the internet. Even though I'm a content creator. You guys know that there are some times that I just say, hey... I'm just going to take a little break and I take that break because it's very healthy for us to detox from the internet and all the madness that is going on around us. So I personally believe that Bianca is just there supporting her husband through this challenging time. I don't believe that she's ready to call it quits because if she didn't call it quits from the beginning, honey, this is nothing compared to the initial stages of their relationship. If you guys remember, this woman married this man when the entire world was against him. You and I can say, oh, not me, not you, Sarb. We really don't count. <laughs> we really don't count in this equation, right? Let's keep it real. We really don't count in that equation because we're talking about, you know, the corporate world. They turned their back on him and that is where his money was coming from. So if that woman married to that man at when the entire world was against him, this is just crumbs. What is happening now is just crumbs. She's not going to leave that man because of a easy court fallout or because she doesn't agree. Ye will never, ever do anything to jeopardize his wife, health, happiness, image, reputation, or anything like that. He doesn't want his wife to get involved in any adult entertainment. The media is lying, honey. They're lying just as though they lied about everything before. If you guys remember, they told us that Bianca's dad want to have a word with Ye. He want to have a sit down with Ye. And then Bianca's sister came out and said, that's such a damn lie because her father doesn't even talk. And that is true. And there's no way that man would put in the media saying that he wants to have a word with Ye when Ye is right available at his fingertips. His wife is always visiting. They were on vacation in Japan last year. So he knows how to communicate with Ye. I mean, just imagine, he knows how to get in touch with Ye, but he's telling the media, I want to have a word with Ye. And like, that doesn't make sense. That man is not giving to personality. That man seems to be level-headed as hell, okay? That man is definitely level-headed. But the media is highly mischievous, very insidious, very toxic. And when it comes to Ye, they're going to make up a bunch of ish because they know people are going to love it. And they're going to say, look at how he was dressing her. He was prelude to him wanting her to get involved in it. That's what they're saying, but we know it's not true. Anyone who has a functioning brain know it is definitely total BS. The media is just trying to create chaos and animosity in this man's life. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. But anyway, guys, this is all I have to share with this video with you all. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.